Hello, everybody who's already on there. That's great. We're going to give everybody else a couple minutes to join. Enjoy James and Jeff. All right. Welcome. Welcome, house, but welcome, everybody, online to the Heirloom East Bay Christmas Eve service. Uh, my name is Jared. I'm one of the pastors here. We've gathered our household as we are cooking and moving and surviving. Jet, do you want to come say hello? Come on. Come say hello. Jet, do you have a bow tie on? Come show everybody your bow tie. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Well, we have, hi, can you say hello? Hey, bow. Oh, he waved, yeah, bow tie. Can you say bow tie? Bow tie. <laughs> there you go, that was your treat. Merry Christmas, well, goodbye everybody, the show's over. Um, we know, we know that uh, Christ comes in the midst of suffering. We know that it's been a hard year. Uh, we know that people on Christmas are celebrating, but also people are sad. One of the ladies who came locally, our neighbor, to buy eggs today, just poured out and started crying about losing her son four years ago at Christmas and how this is not a merry season for her. And so we prayed together just that she would have peace and joy and in the midst of the suffering know that God is with us. And so tonight we're holding all of that at Advent. We have got music makers in the corner. Jet and the people here at the farm are going to be playing instruments along with James and Jeff. And then we have a liturgy and some prayers. And yeah, so Sophie's going to lead us out. We're glad you're with us. Thanks for joining us. Sophie, call to worship. All right, welcome. And for those who don't know us, we are Heirloom. We are an intentional Christian community here in Northern California. And we are focused on bearing witness to the love of God through hospitality, sustainability, and creativity. And so we are glad to welcome you into our living room tonight. Um, and we're grateful to celebrate with you. We'll be reading some scriptures, singing some songs, and lighting candles tonight. And so if you are with us on Zoom, uh, we hope that you'll follow along. You can turn your camera on or off. Um, but especially when we do the candle lighting, we do hope you'll turn on your candle and show us, uh, show, turn on your camera and show us the candle. Here's our call to worship. Oh, God of love, you gave us the greatest gift of love. Jesus Christ, God the Son. May we be open once again to receive this gift. May the Holy Spirit be present here that we might be renewed in hope, to live in peace, to experience joy, and to love extravagantly. Give us eyes of wonder to see your light in the world. Give us open ears that we may hear familiar stories in new ways, and give us hearts to receive fully the grace you have for us tonight. All right, and now let's sing our first song, which is, O Come All Ye Faithful. Sing 
Oh, come all ye faithful. And oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Choirs of angels, sing choirs of angels, sing in exultation, sing all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God. Glory Isaiah. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in a pitch dark land, light has dawned. You have made the nation great. You have increased joy, and the people rejoice before you as with the joy of the harvest, as those who divide, plunder, rejoice. As on the day of Midian, you have shattered the yoke that burdened them. The staff on their shoulders and the rod of their oppressors has been broken because every boot of the haunting, every boot of the thundering warriors and every garment rolled in blood will be burned fuel for the fire. A child is born unto us. A son is given to us and all authority will be on his shoulders. He will be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Prince of Peace. There will be vast authority and endless peace for David's throne and for God's kingdom, established and sustaining it with justice and righteousness now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of the heavens will do this. So we've been moving through the season of Advent together at Heirloom and with the church around the world. And so every week we have lit a new candle and we've practiced waiting for this, uh, for this day. So now we will light the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love once again. And as we remember the fulfillment of these promises in Christ's birth, we also look ahead to the day when all things will truly be made right at Christ's return.
candles were handmade for us. All right, so we have one kid in the room with us here who's entertaining all of us. Um, but two more uh, members of our heirloom family are on Zoom with us tonight. And Aaron and Noah are going to help read a story for us. And so girls, if you could unmute yourselves, um, then everyone else should be able to hear you on the Zoom call. Um, maybe you can give a wave to let um, Claire know that you're ready to go. And <laughs> Take that away from Jet. <laughs> They're going to be reading the, the nativity book. Can I put this? And Jeff is going to show it here. Oh, you won't hear it. Um, but I can. Okay, so we won't hear it, but everyone else will hear it. So does somebody want to open Zoom real quick? You don't have to imagine the beautiful artwork in this book, but mm -hmm. my, my girls are going to read uh, for us, and you should be able to hear that. Okay, go ahead, Erin and Noah. Take it away. A child is born, and there was shepherds abiding, no, in, the abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. The angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. For unto the you this day is born a Savior. And this shall be a sign to you. You will find the babe laying in a manger. Then suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of angels saying, Glory to God, and on earth peace, good will towards men. And the shepherds came unto Bethlehem, and found Mary with her husband Joseph, and the babe who was lying in a manger. And the shepherds made known to others the same, which was told them about the child. And all they that heard that this story wondered at those things which were told them. But Mary kept these things and pondered them in her heart. When, when the babe, who is called Jesus, became a man, he stood on he stood one day on a mountain before a great multitude of people, and he said, Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the mourn, for they shall be comfort, comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall Inherit, inherit, inherit Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. All right, thanks, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say thank you, Jet? Thanks, girls. Thank you. All right, and now let's sing a little town of Bethlehem.
The silent stars go by Yet in the dark street shineth The everlasting light The hopes and fears of all the years Are met in thee tonight Christ is born of Mary. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wandering love. O morning stars together Proclaim the holy birth And praises sing Let glory ring With peace to all on earth O holy child of Bethlehem Descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. We know that this year uh, Christmas looks a lot different for people, um, that family traditions that are decades old are not happening this year. One of the traditions that I really appreciate that I married into in my wife's family is that on Christmas Eve, there's a really sweet countryside chapel out in the hills of Wisconsin. And you drive along a river and often there's snow and there's deer and we arrive and it's just the smallest little building you could ever imagine. And people squeeze in and they add extra chairs and Pastor Pete, uh, I was the pastor there for years and years, and this was a prayer that was in the liturgy. And so year after year, I'm used to Pastor Pete reading this part and then the response. So uh, we're sharing it with you. Mute yourselves and then read along out loud. And everybody here can see it too. It's a call and response. So here we go. Glory to God in the highest. And peace to God's people in the highest. Blessed are you, Prince of Peace. You rule the earth with truth and justice. Send your gift of peace to all nations of the world. Blessed are you, wonderful counselor. You enlighten the heart with steadfast love. And I enlighten your church that you might bear good tidings of great joy to all. Blessed are you, Emmanuel. You promise to be with us even to the end of the age. Open your eyes to see your presence in all who are hungry, lonely, or Blessed are you, Son of Mary, you share our humanity. Have mercy, Have mercy on the sick, the dying, and all who suffer this day. Blessed are you, Son of God, you dwell among us as the Word made flesh. Reveal yourself, Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament, that we may be the light of all the world. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was with God in the beginning. Everything came into being through the Word, and without the Word, nothing came into being. What came into being through the Word was life, and that life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not extinguish the light. A man named John was sent from God. 
He came as a witness to testify concerning the light so that through him, everyone would believe in that light. He himself wasn't the light, but his mission was to testify concerning it. The true light that shines on all people was coming into the world. The light was in the world and the world came into being through the light. But the world did not recognize the light. The light came to his own people and his own people did not welcome him. But those who did welcome him, those who believed in God's name, got authorized to become God's children, born not of blood, nor of human desire or passion, but born of God. The word became flesh and made a home among us. We have seen God's glory, glory like that of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the Gospel of John. Now let's sing, O Holy Night. Just James is going to sing. You can sing if you want. It's just... Uh... Yeah, we can't hear you anyway, so you can sing if you want. Yeah, it's great. Brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and ever pining till he appeared in the soul felt its worth a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder brings a new and glorious morn for Oh, 
praise his name forever his power and glory and the more proclaim Jeff is going to read a scripture from 1 John, and then Sophie's going to lead us in sharing the light from the Christ candle. Dear friends, let us love one another, because love is from God, and everyone who loves is born from God and knows God. The person who does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how the love of God is revealed to us. God has sent his Son into the world so that we can live through him. This is love. It is not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent Christ as the sacrifice that deals with our sins. Dear friends, if God loves in this way, we also ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God. If we love each other, God remains in us, and God's love is made perfect in us. This is how we know we remain in God and God remains in us because God has given us a measure of the Spirit. We have seen and testify that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. If any of us confess that Jesus is God's Son, God remains in us and we remain in God. We have known and have believed the love that God has for us. God is love. And those who remain in love remain in God and God remains in them. This is how Love has been perfected in us so that we can have confidence on the judgment day because we are exactly the same as God is in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear expects punishment. The person who is afraid has not been made perfect in love. We love because God first loved us. Those who say, I love God and do not love their brothers and sisters are liars. After all, those who do not love their brothers or sisters whom they have seen can hardly love God whom they have not seen. This commandment we have from, from God. Those who claim to love God ought to love their brothers and sisters also. And so as we've journeyed through Advent every week, we've lit another candle, um, but the center candle is the Christ candle. And tonight is the night where we light the Christ candle together. We rejoice in the light who came, the one who is the fulfillment of hope, the bringer of peace, the creator of joy and love itself. And tonight, as we remember that Christ entered the world as a gift of love for the whole world, Christ was the ultimate example of hope, peace, joy, and love. And so as we celebrate the amazing gift of love from Christ to us, we also look to share it with the world, to love one another well, as the scripture has just reminded us. The true gift of Christmas is that this light and this love are for the whole world. And so we carry this light into the world. 
We are called to love our families, our friends, our neighbors, and even our enemies, that they all may know of this great gift of light and love. And we know, as Jared has mentioned, this has been a year of immense grief. As we grieve over 300,000 Americans dead from COVID-19, we also grieve a year of canceled plans, financial worries, and much loneliness. This has been a year of political tension, of reckoning over racial injustice, and stress upon stress from the pandemic. I don't think we will remember 2020 or think back on this year without thinking of the heaviness that we've all carried with us in so many different ways. So it has not really felt like a world filled with love and light. And yet, as we sit here on a dark night, scattered in many homes, we all light our candles as an act of hope and as a symbol of God's love to us. During this next song, we'll, we will each light a candle. Um, for those in the room, I have candles here, and then we can pass the light from one uh, to each, from one to another. And if you are uh, part of our community watching online, we hope you will light a candle with us as well. We light the candle to remind us to carry the love of Christ into the world, that there is good news for us on this dark night. And wherever you find yourself tonight, in this living room or somewhere on Zoom, or even Christmas feels so disrupted this year, so different, we hope that this candle will be a reminder of Christ's presence with you, Christ's presence with each one of us, that tonight for Christmas we celebrate that God truly is at, with us, that God dwells with us on this night. And so we'll sing Silent Night and then I'll light a candle and pass it around the room. Silent night, holy night. 
my wondrous star lend thy light with the angels let us sing hallelujah to our king Christ the Savior is born Christ the Savior is born The benediction is this Rejoice the Lord has come and is coming again. Know fully that you are the beloved of God and embrace fully the gift of Jesus this Christmas. Then go into a world that is longing for hope and peace and joy and love and shine your light among them that they may know that they are beloved of God as well and that the kingdom of God may come to earth as it is in heaven. Amen. We're going to close tonight by singing Joy to the World loudly with everybody. So grab a music maker, grab a shaker, bang on whatever's next to you. It's a joy to the world. Thanks for joining us at Heirloom East Bay. Merry Christmas. Woo! Let's dance with Jet. Joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive his king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven, heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let all the songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains, repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. the world with truth and grace and makes the nations true the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders, wonders of His love.